In this video, I'll show you how to restrict your WooCommerce payment method based on a few different conditions in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so if you want a written version of this particular video, I'll leave a link in the description below to this article here, which will detail the steps in which we'll be taking, okay? So as I said, we've got a few different conditions in how we can actually restrict the payment methods. So, so we can restrict the payment methods based on the products that a customer's added to their basket, based on a product category, based on whether they've entered in a specific coupon code, the customer role, who the actual customer is, whether the item's on sale, the shipping country, billing country, shipping method, shipping postcode, and so on, okay? So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the conditional shipping and payments plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded a conditional shipping and payments plugin by AOV Up, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. In the future, it might say AOV Up because we've just done a rebranding. Okay, now the next step would be to activate your license key. So click on activate here, enter in your license key, then it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. From the add-on section, we can go ahead and just activate the conditional shipping and payments plugin, which is this one here. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and click manage to configure our first rule. Okay, so now we'll head over to payment gateways. Okay, and now we can create our first rule here. So we'll click add restriction. Okay, we can give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. So I can say, so these are the payment methods that I've currently got on my site. So Based on your store setup, you might see PayPal, you might see um, Stripe and whatever payment methods you've got on your store, right? So currently I've just got these three active. So I'm going to create a rule which says that whenever the customer is a guest user or a customer, we want to restrict them from um, taking advantage of this net 30 payment invoice, okay? So before we actually create a rule, let's quickly head over to the checkout page and just make sure all these um, payment methods are displaying on the checkout before we actually configure a rule, okay? In your case, you wouldn't need to do that, but this is just for this particular example. Okay, so we'll just navigate to the checkout page. And here you can see we've got our free payment methods, right? So as I said, for net 13 boys, this is only for our wholesale customer on this particular test site. Um, so in this situation, we would wanna restrict it to any other customer that isn't a wholesale customer. So we can create a simple rule actually. So we can say disable net 30 payment methods for non wholesale customers, okay? Okay, and then here we've got this option which says show excluded. In this case, I'll leave it unchecked, but if you wanted, you could show the restricted payment methods and then you've got the option to add an additional notice to let the customer know why they're not actually able to select that payment option. Okay, so I'm just gonna disable this because I just wanna hide this payment option um, entirely, okay? So where it says conditions, this is where we'll add our conditions here. If you want to restrict a payment method based on the product that our customer adds to their basket, then you can do it on a product by product basis on a product level, okay? Configure this rule first and then I'll show you how you can set that up, okay? So for this scenario, so we've got a few different user role on this particular site. We've got a wholesale customer user role, um, so wholesale customer. So I'm going to say we want to restrict this payment option if the customer role is not wholesale customer, okay? So essentially only our wholesale customers will be able to view this payment method as it should be, okay? So let's just go ahead and hit save changes. And now when we refresh um, this checkout page, since I'm logged in as the admin, which isn't the wholesale customer, this net 30 payment should be restricted, okay? Okay, and here we've only got two options. So we've got direct bank transfer and cash and delivery. And if I was to log in as a wholesale customer, only then would I be able to see that net 30 payment option. So again, so you can be creative with this and set up various different rules to restrict a payment method when a particular condition is met, okay? Before we wrap up this video, I just wanna quickly show you how you can disable it on a product by product basis, okay? So let's head back over to our dashboard. Let's click on um, products. I'm gonna go all products. And I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this product here. Okay, and when we scroll down, we'll see this new tab here, which says restriction. 
and then from here we can create a payment gateway restriction and just like on um, at the global level we can go ahead and select the payment method in which you want to restrict okay for the conditions we can set it to have no conditions meaning that whenever the customer purchase this particular product then this payment gateway will be hidden okay and that's a quick and simple way to restrict your WooCommerce payment methods based on a few different conditions. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.